Solving a system using elimination requires us to have opposite coefficients in front of either our x's or our y's. And they have to line up. So in this particular problem, we have 1x right here plus 3y's equal to 0. And in our second equation, we have negative 3x's plus 6y's equal to negative 30. And we see that we can add straight down. Remember, if you have a equal to b and c equal to d, nothing is going to stop you if you want to add these sides together. So if you write a plus c, that's going to be the same as adding these sides together, b plus d. Because, you know, keep in mind that an equation is just a balanced, you know, equation just has the same amount on the left as it does the right. So since a and b are the same, and c and d are the same, these two sides are exactly the same. So we can add the left-hand sides, and we can add the right-hand the right -hand sides of an equation. If we did that here, and let me just do that real quick, and we'll see what we get. If we do that, 1x plus negative 3x's, that will give me minus 2x's, and 3y's and 6y's gives me 9y's, and over here, I'm left with negative 30. Now, doing that is great. I can do that if I want. But look what happens. I'm still left with one equation here. I'm left with equation with two unknowns. Elimination gets its name because it, when you add down like that, we want one of these, either the x's or the y's, to be eliminated. So what I'm going to do in this particular problem, I'm going to, well, let me first rewrite the system down below because that didn't help us. Adding straight down like that didn't help us. So let me rewrite the system, and we're going to just tweak this just a little bit so that when we add down, either the x's cancel out or the y's cancel out. Well, if you just think about that, what would, what would allow us, if we added these sides together, what would we want to happen? Well, let's say we want the x's to cancel out. If this is a minus 3x, we would want this to be a positive 3x. Because if this is a positive 3x and this is a negative 3x, when you add those down, those will cancel. So we can change this, right? If we wanted to, we can take this top equation, we can take this whole top equation, and since we want the x to be a positive 3, let's multiply that whole top equation, both sides, by 3. By doing, when I do that, I will get 3x plus 9y equal to, well, on the right-hand side, 3 times 0 is still 0. And here, minus 3x plus 6y, we're not going to do anything with that. We're going to keep that the same. I'm just adjusting this top equation here so that, and I'm not changing the fact, I'm not changing anything, I'm not messing with the equal sign at all, that equation here is equivalent, this equation is equivalent to this equation, I'm just changing it so I have opposite coefficients in front of my x's. Now let's look what happens when I add down. When I add straight down, I will have 3x minus 3x, that gives me 0x's. Here I'll have plus 15y equal to negative 30. 0x's, that cancels. So 15y is going to be equal to negative 30. I divide by 15. I'm going to get y equal to negative 2. That's great. I got my y. Now I need to go back and solve for x. And it doesn't matter which equation we plug y in for. It could be this first one or the second one. And, well, we change the first one to be this. It, it, it really doesn't matter. All these equations are still equivalent, right? As long as y is equal to negative 2, we can plug it into any of them. So I'm going to plug it into this first equation up here, because that seems to be the simplest for, for x. So when I plug y as negative 2, I get 3 times negative 2 equal to 0. I'll get x. This will be minus 6 equal to 0. I add 6 to both sides, 
I'm going to get x equal to 6. So my order pair is 6, comma, negative 2. And I'm just going to say one more time how I got that. And that's my solution. We can use what's called the elimination method by adding the left-hand sides of our equation and the right-hand sides of our equation. And that's what I showed you up here. We can add the left-hand sides and the right-hand sides, and we get an equation that's equal. And we solve that. When I just straight away added these sides, the left-hand sides together and the right-hand sides together, I got an equation that still had x's and y's in it. That doesn't help me. I want to use elimination. I want to add the left-hand sides so that either the x's or the y's are eliminated. So in order for that to happen, I need either the x's to have opposite coefficients or the y's. So since this one already had a minus 3x, I wanted to change this one to be a positive 3x. So I multiplied that entire top equation by 3. And now you see that when I add straight down, these will cancel, and I'll be left with 15y equal to negative 30. That allows me, when I add down, to eliminate one of the variables and solve for the remaining variable. Then you just need to make sure you go back and solve for the remaining variable that you have. One last comment. At this point here, you may have been asking yourself, well, how could I have canceled the y's? Well, if this is a 6y, we would want this to be a minus 6y. So instead of multiplying this entire equation by 3, like we did for the x's, if we wanted this 3 to be a minus 6 or a negative 6, we could have actually taken this entire equation and multiplied by negative 2. And then if we added down, the y's would have canceled, and you would have seen that x would have been equal to 6. So if you would like to try that as an additional exercise, I would suggest doing that.